For decades, HIV has been one of the most studied viruses in human history. It has shaped modern medicine, transformed public health policy, and driven some of the most advanced research humanity has ever produced. And yet, after more than 40 years of work, one question still lingers. If science has come this far, if we can suppress the virus, if we can now expose hidden HIV, why can't we cure it? Today's video is not about hype. It's not about miracle headlines or exaggerated promises. This is a why video. We're going to explain carefully, clearly, and honestly what exposing HIV actually means, what science can do today, and why removing it completely is still one of the hardest challenges in medicine. The breakthrough that sparked new hope. Recently, a wave of excitement spread through the scientific community. Researchers demonstrated something remarkable. They could force hidden HIV out of hiding. For years, one of the greatest barriers to a cure was that HIV could remain invisible. Now, scientists are learning how to make it visible again. To many people watching from the outside, this sounded like the final piece of the puzzle. If we can see it, why not just destroy it? But this is where the story becomes more complex and more honest. Why HIV has always been different. To understand why exposing HIV is not the same as curing it, we have to understand what makes this virus unique. HIV is not just floating freely in the blood. It does something far more dangerous. It integrates itself into the DNA of your own immune cells. This means it becomes part of your biology. It hides inside long-lived immune cells that can remain dormant for years. Sometimes decades these infected cells are known as reservoir cells, and they are the core reason curing HIV is so difficult what hidden HIV actually means. When someone takes modern antiretroviral therapy, the virus in the bloodstream drops to undetectable levels. But undetectable does not mean gone. Inside the body, millions of infected cells still exist. These cells are silent, they produce no virus, they send no warning signals to the immune system. They look completely normal. This is why stopping treatment leads to rebound. Not because the virus suddenly appears, but because it was never gone. It was waiting. Why exposure is only step one. Recent research, including mRNA-based approaches, has shown that scientists can wake up some of these hidden cells. This is often described as exposing the reservoir, but exposure does not equal elimination. Think of it this way, finding an enemy on a battlefield does not guarantee victory. It simply means you now know where they are. And in the case of HIV, the battlefield is your own immune system. The problem with killing infected cells once a hidden HIV infected cell is exposed, it creates an immediate dilemma. That cell is a human immune cell part of your body, often essential for immune memory. Destroying it may also damage immune function. Unlike cancer cells, which are abnormal, many reservoir cells are otherwise healthy. So the challenge becomes, how do you selectively kill infected cells without harming the immune system itself? This is not a small technical problem. It is the central obstacle, why the immune system doesn't automatically finish the job. Many people ask, if the immune system can see the virus again, why doesn't